Good morning everybody, this is Lunaris Aileron and today I'm gonna, I want to rent a bit. So right now is Saturday morning, I just got all my daily login bonus and stuff, did all the my daily, one, daily routine and stuff. And then I went to my usual anime site to check if new anime comes out. So I want to watch it. And then for some reason I decided to read comments which is which is kind of stupid for me in, in retrospect. Anyways in this video I want to rant a bit about people's perception uh, and how they how they review an anime something like that. Anyways the, the title is gonna be that something about being unique is not necessarily good being generic is not necessarily bad that's my that's my thought about uh, anime in general execution presentation and overall and how it was overall uh, executed is more important than gimmick basic premise or the basic plot of an anime what I'm saying is that I rather watch a generic anime plot, but it has a good dialogues, good voice acting, uh, solid, solid storytelling, coherent, coherent flow of uh, scenes and uh, transition, good uh, background music to accompany individual scenes, something like that. You know all the good stuff that for some reason people usually don't talk about instead of something that has a unique unique premise or unique plot unique gimmick but uh, everything else is done rather mediocre in a rather mediocre fas fashion i mean like i've watched lots of lots of anime and i've seen this happening happening again and again and again and again when an anime when an anime has something like interesting gimmick or a plot with a potential but the writers just cannot bring it to the full power it, it can be it can be from due to from various things like maybe the, the, there's just not enough budget to animate scenes and to animate everything every, everything there's just not enough uh you cannot do a good expositions on stuff or maybe there's a studio interference or maybe or maybe just the writer is just not good enough at expanding upon their basic foundation of the story I mean like it happens all the time when a, a, a writer has an idea but the writer just refuses to do more, this, more research or doesn't have time to do more research to make uh, the story more compelling or more immersive that in the end the story just didn't get into full potential or it has an interesting premise but everything, is, everything else is uh, really questionable like having annoying character or annoying protagonist or it, the just uh, individual scenes are pretty uh, pretty bad maybe the dialogues are not fun to listen to the presentation may, maybe the presentation is uh, questionable like in, in general make it making me uncomfortable to watch or not interested to watch it happens all the time I mean if I if I look back at if, if I can look back at my list of watch anime maybe I can Make it, I can provide an example, but I'm a little <laughs> lazy right now. But, but I, on the other hand, there are various anime where with with generic plot, but I enjoy it greatly because it has a uh, great characters that is expanded upon nicely, good uh, voice acting, good scenes and good scenes and music, uh, all the good jazz, you know that make me enjoy it so much it, to, to amuse me, it, you don't have to be unique or you don't have to be unique or extraordinary, you just have 
I I I worded that very poorly. What I mean is that being unique does not necessarily mean it, it is suddenly good. Maybe it, you get some brownie point for being unique, but if the rest of you is uh, is uh, medi uh, average or mediocre, it's still a bad anime in my opinion. And I wouldn't rate it more highly than generic anime plot that has better execution in general. Because uh, the rest of uh, everything I said, like scenes, acting, music, atmosphere, ar artistic styles, and everything else, also takes up a lot of uh, a lot of the anime, and it shouldn't be ignored just for the sake of having having a unique plot or unique gimmick, you know. I've seen this a lot in uh, uh, random comments in random anime that they say that oh this anime is bad just because it has generic plot or this anime even like or, 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 or when people to try to justify a anime a bad anime with unique premise is something like even though this anime is bad but it is still very meaningful because it has unique plot that asks the viewer some philosophical stuff you know blah 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 right eh? Right, but here's the thing. This uh, beside the point that I said previously about execution is more important to me. But this here is also the thing that I think most people don't watch my anime as many as I do, and the thing is that when there is an anime with, with, with uh, quote unquote unique unique plot, most of the time this plot has been done before, or or this new or this new plot is simply a slight you know a slight uh a slight deviation not slight deviation but a, a slight modification of something that has been done before like for example like Madoka Madoka is a great uh, uh, it's a dark and gritty Maho Shoujo anime people praise it for being unique but the thing is, the Dark Maho Shoujo is something that has been done before. Even, even something like Sailor Moon has various dark moments. And what I mean that... Uh, uh, I mean like... Uh, if people don't know... During the early days of a uh, visual novel... Like I'm, I'm talking about in the 90s and the early 2000s... There are many 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 Dark Maho Shoujo stories. Because because hentai hentai vi hentai visual novel likes to uh, sub sub subvert typical anime trope. So just saying Madoka is good because it's unique because it has a dark and realistic story about Maho Shoujo is kind of shallow because this kind of premise has been done before. But people don't praise that other thing the story from that other vision novel right because they don't know they don't know about it so that's why i try to avoid praising an anime or story for having unique plot a unique gimmick because most of the time it has been done before instead what, what you should do instead is praise the execution of the plot like madoka uh, like like typical uh, gen urobochi writing he is good at he is good at expanding at making a compelling and good story. Urobuchi, Uro, again, Urobuchi is managed to make mummy being very mummy being a very tragic character that can be can be uh, sympathized on just from one and a half episode and make her death meaningful compared to many hack, many other hack writers that kill characters in one or two episodes but leave me with something like a petty like I, I don't care about this character she can just die but mommy was uh, introduced well was developed well just within one episode and then her death was meaningful because how it how the scene how the scene affected how her death affected uh, Sayaka and Madoka and the implication towards Homura and other and the story in general. Another example is like a uh, psychopath. People also praise psychopaths for having a 
for being pretty uh, grim and unique, right? But Psychopaths is pretty much like Minority Report. It has been done before. But that does not take away that the, the first, first season of Psychopaths was really thrilling, really mysterious and really engaging that I really enjoyed. Not second season though, second season is not as good. Because I heard that uh, again Urobuchi is not the main writer in second season but that, that's another story. And for, on the flip side, generic anime, there are plenty of generic anime plot that I really love. Something like Love Life. Love Life is not original at all. The, the, the characters are tropey and cliche. The main, go the main plot of the anime is pretty straightforward. And it does absolutely nothing really original. But lots of people enjoy it. I really enjoy it. It has four seasons, two movies, and another, another group is going to come in. The Perfect Drip. The perfect dream project gonna come soon with new games and if the English version, the global version of Love Life is still ongoing, you know. I, I played it a bit last year, and it still it still has a strong community, persistent community. But why? It's a generic story with generic characters. But why does it have so many fan base? Is it just because of the songs alone? I doubt it. I think most most of them, most of the fan base does not care about the songs as much as like the more hardcore ones. But it has nice characters. It has a good execution on the characters. The art is uh, pretty noticeable, and I can I can I can do a whole review of Love Life and why I enjoyed it. But there are plenty of generic things that I like just because, not just because I mean. There are plenty of gener generic things that I like because it has good execution and ultimately makes me enjoy the experience. This is like slice of life. Slice of life uh, practically is pra practically is similar all around. The jokes are usually pretty similar. The character setup are pretty similar between different anime, between different slice of life, but. I hate it when people people say, "Oh, it's just another th another anime with cute girls and doing quick cute things." No, slice of life are not made equal. There are plenty of I think shitty slice of life that has a bad characters, bad uh, execution of comedy, and just not enjoy not as enjoyable. Compared to uh, some slice of life like uh, Gochi Usa that has excellent characters and humors and great setting and music, you know all that jazz. I can go on, go on, go on. But they are uh, generic animes are not are not made equal. So what my point is, what the point is in this run is that whenever you want to comment or criticize an anime, if you say it has a unique plot. Try to expand upon it. It has a unique plot, okay? Instead of just saying that, you should you should add on how it is presented, how it ultimately uh, conclude, and how everything else binds into it. it, it uh, good scenes, good exposition, dialogues. Like dialogues, people really don't talk about dialogues and acting in anime usually. But it, it really, it really, it really affects the whole anime as a whole. If you have a character, if you have actors with good charismatic voice that manage to make each each scenes very fun to watch. But maybe I'm just someone who thinks too much about anime. Try to uh, try to take in every aspect of it instead of just uh. Looking at it, looking at it at a more superficial, superficial level, but and if you if you criticize an enemy for being generic, try to expand upon it. Like it's generic, but does every 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 other thing does not make it enjoyable? Is it bad? Is every other aspect is bad? Is the how the story flow, how the plot is executed, how the how the characters develop was uh, was it bad? I mean, like 
I said this a, a time and time again that if you have uh, watched enough anime, consume enough story, fan fiction, role playing, movies, novels, and something like that, you will observe that in the end that most most uh, narrative, most most stories in the end follows a very similar template or something that has been established before. So everything is just kind of like a derivative from something that has is uh, has been done before. So I really hate the argument that something is good just because it has a unique uh unique found unique premise. Anyways, this run has been going longer than I thought. Fifteen minutes. Wow. So. Good day everyone who is listening. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.